Today I'm replacing a bellow on a Whirlpool Duet front load washing machine. This one is eight years old and will not come clean. I'm gonna remove the door switch first. It's held in by two T20 screws. Gonna remove the clamp by grabbing the triangle, pulling to the right, then pulling towards myself. Once that first clamp is off, you can remove the bellow from the outside of the washing machine. Now I'm going to do some extra steps here. I'm taking the top cover off, which is held in by three quarter inch screws. Please keep in mind this repair can be done without doing all of this. I am going to be removing the entire front cover just because it makes this repair a lot, lot easier. Especially if you're doing this for the first time, if you're a seasoned appliance repair pro, you're probably not watching this video and you definitely don't need to remove this cover to replace this bellow. Just remember which screws go where as they are not the same throughout the repair. Don't forget about the four quarter inch screws at the bottom of the washing machine that hold in the front cover. Remove the three five sixteen screws that hold in the front cover. Then it can be easily removed so we have full access to the bellow. Remove the supply hose from the top left hand corner of your washing machine bellow just by gently pulling out. The inner part of the bellow is held in by this clamp that uses a Phillips head screw to apply tension to it. From here the old bellow can pretty easily just be removed. Looking at the difference from an eight year old used bellow to a brand new one, when putting in the new bellow, I like to align the water inlet hose first with the top part of the bellow and then work around the ring just pressing the bellow into the groove. It's kind of hard to get on camera, but you'll get a feel for it. I like to loosen the tension clamp as far as I can go without the screw coming out and then just put it over the inner part of the bellow. If you're doing this with the cover still on, it can be ex it can be pretty hard. This model is not horrible, but other models that use these rubber bellows can be a nightmare trying to do it with the cover still on. Putting the supply hose into the new bellow can be kind of stiff. I'm just using some multi-purpose cleaner, some soapy water here to lube it up a little bit. I found that if you do this, it will just slide in with a great amount of ease. Hardest parts of the repair are now over. It's just doing everything in the reverse order, putting all the screws back, making sure you keep track of all the screws and where they went right, since there are several different types for different sections. Order of operations is the most important part of doing mainly any kind of appliance repair, especially on this one. Now we need to reattach the outside bellow to the front load washing machine cover. Make sure everything is tucked in all around before attempting this. Put the ring around. They make a special tool for this that makes this very easy, but with enough practice, this is how I do it. I put one hand down right in the center and then with a pair of needle nose pliers, I pull straight to the right while moving up on the left side. And just like that, the whole ring is in. It takes a little bit of practice, but I like to make sure and check that it's all in because it can fool you. From here, just put everything back together. Once everything is reassembled, make sure you test for leaks. Thank you so much for watching. This fix is done.